Hey Bass Geek here, and we have been following this school of bass for five miles and three months, catching them every time we come out. They're fed and they're fat. Let me show you how. So geeks, we have chased these shad. Now, I'm gonna show you a key. You'll see this, look at the cutoff line. I mean, it's almost, watch, there'll be more and more and more. This is the outside edge, look. You're not looking for little balls or one giant ball. You're looking for that right there. See how they're all broke up? How they're all disconnected? Look at them right there on the down. On the down view. That's why I love my Garmin's boys and girls. Look at this. You can see the thermocline right here. It's down deep, about 75 feet. But look, you know, we've traveled a long way right here this is where we are, and everything you see that's coming out is right under the boat. Same here, this is where we are. Everything you see is coming out. This is what we've already passed. But look at that, look at that. Nothing, 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 bam. And you'll notice it's all broken up balls of shad. And generally what that tells you is that there are groups of bass in the area in open water busting these shad up and you can see a lot of times here's the contours look at that that's not a ball of shad that's something pushing that shad that way same here perfect perfect view that's something inside that shad chasing that shad right look for those telltale signs of that sort of stuff inside your shad now now we're gonna get up there and we're gonna see if we can find the schools by just getting on our trolling motor and using our uh, live scope. You can do this without your live scope. You just gotta get out here and fan cast and watch for them. As the sun comes up, they'll start to bust those shad on top. get off just where he kept jumping out of the water i probably didn't set the hook good so is it hard to set the hook with that bait no it hasn't been it's been it's really i mean is it hard to tell though because you had two in that one yeah it's kind of yeah it's a just a learning thing i think so they're chasing a school bait they went deeper on me. They don't want to pop water, I'll tell you that. Where did you go? Where did you go? These fish are 30 feet down that's small mouth Man. What? That's a long, is that a spot? 
This one was way bigger than this. This is we're literally chasing one school around. One six. That's right, geeks. We have followed these bass for five miles down the lake, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now, I want to give you the conditions of the day. So today, it's going to be dead slick calm, absolute bluebird skies. We are in a high pressure right now. We had a huge cold front move in. Today is going to be a nice day. I think tomorrow, right, Mike, is supposed to be warm too. And then the rain and the cold moves in the water temps was 67 this morning our temps was right at 50 right 50 degrees and it's supposed to warm up here up in the mountains to about i think like 73 74 by the end of the day i'll tell you a little bit more about how we've chased these fish during midday update once we actually get on them That's a better one. Oh, yeah. I seen them two eating shad over. That's a little more what we're looking for. Two four. I think they just keep getting bigger, don't they? Two four puts us at 368. They use every time though. I mean if they see this, they're they're eating. I already hit it. Still have you. Yeah, he looks like a little bit. Yeah. yeah. As good as I thought. Every single one of them are like right there, though. He's bigger than that last one. You think? Yeah. I think about the same size. Like I've never used this scale before. Smaller. Ain't no way. Well, actually, exact same size. Two four. Like it's eat better. Hell yeah. They're feeding on them shad right there. Don't go diving deep. Get back up here and feed on them shad. for down the gullet. Sir. We needed that one today. He ate it. We say he's four? No. Three he's, and a half? I'm gonna say three and a quarter. Got your belly on it. Three 
two. Like I said, guys, this is a incredible lake, but it's a super ultra clear lake, probably 15 feet, and it's been a little bit of a grind. They've already started dropping the lake. It's probably down about five feet. It's made things tough. We've ground out a few. We've kind of found the area where our bass are. I know you guys are interested in how we know that we've been tracking these schools of bass. Well, when we got here in July, one of the things we did is, is, you know, we hadn't really ever fished this lake. Definitely hadn't fished it during the summer. So we found areas where we knew that the shad and the bass would both congregate, where there were uh, steep summer areas and where there were areas where the shad would spawn in, in these, you know, Highlands lakes, really canyon style lakes. They're really most of the time there's not a lot of docks so what they're going to do is they're going to spawn on rock and we found huge amounts of shad fry in the first area well we found these schools roaming around they were eating the shad fry they were chasing the full-grown shad and we noticed that the areas we would find these wolf packs schools whatever you want to call them a bass would be in areas where we've seen these broken up balls of shad. We just kind of followed them. We'd go back and as soon as the temperature dropped, those shad started moving, the bass started moving. And every time, every week we would come, we would just, you know, find that big group of shad and there our bass would be. Now we missed sometimes, we'd go fish history and we'd be like, oh, well, they got them. they're probably still up here. They probably haven't moved. And we'd spend a lot of time. And that's how we know that they were moving and that they wasn't there was because we wasted a lot of days trying to make them be or, or expecting them to be in places that they weren't. But midday, man, we've had, it, it's been a grind. Like it's been a grind. Uh, bluebird skies, clear water, this lake is uh it's been tough on us we're seeing those schools of shad and we're also finding schools of bass that aren't around those schools so i think they've moved to their winter areas and they fed up and we cannot get those bass to bite so we've been kind of onesie twosie in it which is something that i always recommend against focus on those schools but if those schools aren't around shad and they're not actively feeding don't waste your time. I don't care if there's 200, and I believe there's about 200. All right, let's see if we can finally put our five together. Good night. <laughs> he ate it. He did. Yeah, he ate it. He hungry, wasn't he? He's right above the ball of shad. He probably ain't a keeper. We got a big large mouth, 12 inches on this. Is it? Well, I don't think I was filming. Anyway, seen him over a ball of shad. Didn't know how big he was. Been eating any. That's shad. So, eh. Help me. Dude, real. He's still on. You wanna put it back on there? Or? <laughs> yeah, put it on, put it on. Get it break? No. It just yeah, came loose. Huh? It broke. You hot him? You just lay it down. You hot him? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> So far back in here, we've caught a cat and a dink. 
so it ain't looking good back in the creeks. There it is. Right there? Yeah. Sad or yeah. Looks like some about. See? Yeah, it looks like some shad, but I don't see anything chasing. Huh. It's like grazing just the top of the water. Yeah. Them oh. shad will do that. They'll they'll V-wake. Especially if something's chasing them. Look out, look out right there, right there. Look, look. See? No. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that's a big Yeah. What kind, what was it? The bass, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, right here. Well, that, was, that was, that was a shape. good call, dude. He's a good one. Like, he's he underwater. Big. He's this big. You know what I mean? Look at him. He's good, bro. Yeah, I see him. I mean, dude, he's leaning. He's pissed. He's good. I've seen that in the water, man. You know how clear this water is? <laughs> That's funny, man. That's a throw right there. We will take it. Yes, sir. Number five. Yep. Oh, Teamwork makes the dream work. Mike Hall put me on this one. Mike Hall's guide service, baby. Yeah. That's a big smallmouth. Is it? Yep. First smallmouth of the day. Look at him. How many times have I caught a big smallmouth today and it ain't been one? No, that's a largemouth. No, that's small. Sure? Oh, yeah, I'm positive. He's him open his mouth. Look, there's another one down there with me. Come on out there. Come on, little fella. Yeah, look at that. Not like you, man. I'm giving too much. Small mouth, my God! God, yeah, oh, old two inch. Look at that, bro. Big old small mouth. That's over four pounds, man. Whoo! Hey, gosh! Huh? There it is. Mike seen him chasing, chasing shad over there. We seen him. I, he was up so shallow I couldn't even see him on the dag on live scope. I mean, that's a beauty, beauty of a small mouth right there. Six. Here, let's get some pictures of that, huh? Three nine, just over three and a half. I knew it's close to twelve or three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Four. He's been hooked a couple times. We got his lip. No, that's just what you made. Never really put one close that puts us at 1272. Right. You getting a picture? Shoo, geeks. We decided to go into the back of a creek. We seen some shad back there, and we caught a dink and a catfish. And the catfish broke my reel. <laughs> so, yeah, we got out of the back of the creek. We went back to the main lake. And uh, we ground out, man, Mike, those eagle eyes of Mike, he's seen some shad V-waking. And I even turned the live scope over, but I may not have turned it far enough. I didn't see it. I didn't see this bass. And something that I've really learned is a lot of the smallmouth in this lake seem to be loners, like there's one. He He's seen the bass swimming. Like I said, 15 foot clarity, he's back there using my phone you know kind of being my camera guy and uh he looks and goes throw right here right now and i throw over there and we catch the biggest bass of the day <laughs> so that wasn't any of my skill that was teamwork and teamwork makes the dream work i want to say thank you thank you michael thank you eagle eye michael that's what we're gonna call him from now on i told him i couldn't believe that he's seen that bass like that that was pretty incredible but that just goes to show you guys, 
pay attention to your surroundings. Sometimes you can catch the biggest bass of the day. All right, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. It was a true grind today. And I think it's gonna to get tougher, the bite that we've been on, but we've learned a lot and I've really fell in love with this lake. So we're gonna be back, but I think we're gonna start hitting some other lakes uh, as we get into uh, fall and winter now. That one big smallmouth got me wanting to go chase some smallmouth. So we'll see how that goes. All right, as always, questions, comments in the comment section below. You geeks know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. 100% Watch Squad, best way to support the channel, absolutely free. Just watch the videos when they come out. Watch them all the way through. Hey, if it's something you already know, just let it play for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate you. 100% Watch Squad, you guys were what, who make the channel go. Uh, and as always, all of you geeks rock. All right, geeks, let's give away the Pulse Fish box. We had a great, great uh, turnout for this giveaway. Thank you, all you geeks out there. You guys uh, did an awesome job watching and commenting. All right. Add comment replies. Filter duplicate users. And of course, we'll have to go down here, do some math so we can verify we're not a robot. Oh, what did I do? Did I math wrong there? Did I leave something out? I think we're good. I must have mapped wrong. Bam, 239 unique comments. Way to go, geeks. Let's see who won. Yo, Basket. Thank you. Great show as always, Mr. Geek. See you, on, see you on the next one. Yo, Bass Cat, you won. And uh, I will leave a comment as soon as this video goes live on your comment to let you know that you won. Congratulations. All right. You geeks rock.